Another day, another fresh and fit L. Again! By the way, if you're a brokey in the chat, I'll call you a brokey just because you don't want to support. That's understandable. What I will say, though, is like when you see the value in the Castle Club, you're like, damn, you know what? Yeah. I need to be a part of that. Your motivation pushed me to start and grow my business. I appreciate you guys. That's what we're talking about, bro. No brokey shots, you see, Avery. Notice all the guys that make money don't complain about the Castle Club. It's the important Calling your fans brokey is crazy. Calling your fan a brokey because they don't want to pay you. The boys released a video saying, the end of Fresh and Fit, we quit. Oh. So you guys are like, ah, but why are you saying that like you're happy, like you're praying for their downfall? It's because I am. So, um, we ended up getting demonetized, right, guys? And as you guys know that, we got demonetized August of last year. Sucky situation. Um, but Rumble had our back. As you guys know, we scaled up the podcast to a certain point where we're at a certain level where we have bring a certain quality to the show. Chris brings you guys new girls every show. There's a lot of moving parts, right? We have a, a team probably of around, what, 20 people, I would say? In an ideal world, would I love to just give you guys all the free content we could? Of course, bro. I would love to do it. But at the end of the day, guys, it's a business. We got people that we got to take care of. And we got to we gotta um, support Rumble. A part of the after hours, we'll go on Castle Club, guys, right? Um, but we're going to make it affordable for you guys. We, we lowered the price down to 17 bucks uh, per month. If you get in now for the next 48 hours, you're going to go ahead and have that forever. You're grandfathered in. Yep. Because we're going to raise the price, actually, from 17 to 35 after Wednesday. And the reason for that... So now they're going to put him behind a paywall at 35 bucks a month for them to yell at the whores and be like, you're dumb. Who wants to pay 35 bucks a month? There's a couple of people. Well, the fans are not happy with it. They in the comment section just ripping them apart. You fucking lied to us. You said you would never go behind a paywall, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, but they they have no choice. No. It's easy to say we'll never go to a, behind a paywall when you have options. When you have all options and everything, and you're monetized. No, we'll never go to a, behind a paywall. But well, now that's pretty much the only option that they got. And there's no reason to feel sad for them. Because when asked if he regrets it, he said no. Um, in retrospect, are there any regrets in not managing the transition better? Example, mixing the nighttime show with Stewie. You shoot yourselves in the foot by mismanaging. Um, do is, 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 is Any regrets? If you're going to ask me personally, no. No. Th no regrets, man. I got 20 real estate properties so I could tell mother you. My net worth is over 6 million. I get money residually. I don't you need to do this shit. I don't need to make a fucking cent off this podcast. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me so I can sit here and tell you there's you. We need you guys to support us on Rumble. If you guys want us to keep making this content, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say and I don't give what anybody got to say. I cannot be bought. Just like we've saved you guys, we need you guys to save us. I have my soul. I have my spine. I have my integrity. I got my 10 toes and my two feet and I Stand where I'm gonna stand, and if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face, cause I can look in the mirror and be happy with the man that I see. You pussy motherfuckers, you fucking losers that sit there and say, "Oh, it's getting rocky, man." Hey, 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 shut the fuck up. A few moments later, I left a job that I truly loved to do this, right? Because I shouldn't be admitting this, but saving children. Right? That was great. But saving you guys is better. Beta! Beta girl! Myron, are you really gonna quit law enforcement? Yeah, you know, saving children. That's cool. But reminding whores that they're whores? That's even better. Yo, somebody give me some fresh and fit merch so I can cry into it. We ain't got no tissues or clothes in here. I distinctly remember him saying he doesn't give a shit. He'll do whatever he wants, which is fine. You can do whatever you want, but your employer might fire you. And then when they fire you and you got to beg for scraps after the fact, don't think anyone's going to feel sympathy for you. So you want to be out with your chest out. It, this is like the OnlyFans girls who do OnlyFans forever, and then they're like, oh, I'm mentally fucked up. This is the same thing. This is the idiot who thinks he could date away with saying anything and doing anything. Then he gets fired. Now he's begging for scraps. <sighs> and now he feels bad. He's like, well, guys, I can't quit. You know, yeah, I'm financially set, but my employees, you know, who's going to take care of them? We make it look easy, guys, but, like, we have people that 
work for us that legit have a need and depend on us. Yeah. And if it wasn't for this current platform right now, they wouldn't eat. Neither their kids. You should have thought of that before you were an idiot on camera, right? See what happens when you're a leader? You have other people you have to take responsibility for. But because you want to be goofy on screen, you cost all of them their potential salary with this move. And a lot of the fans are not going to translate over to your paywall, and justifiably so. This whole idea that we do content for free. At the end of the day, bro, if you do want to support, it's fine. Yeah, you don't have but, to. But support as well. Well, don't sit there and call us fucking money grabbers when we've been doing this shit for free for three fucking plus years, giving you guys content, and we're still going to continue to give you content for free. The content we do is not for free. Your fans, my fans, everyone who's a viewer, they're paying. 100%. They're paying for their time. They're paying for the viewership of the ads. They're paying. They're paying. They're paying either through YouTube Premium, which means that goes to you. That's not free. Or they're paying through ad time, which is the advertisers basically being able to sell them products. So they end up paying for the products in the long run. Everybody pays for these content. There's nobody who's not paying. There's no such thing as free content. And everybody has a boss. Your motivation pushed me to start and grow my business. I appreciate you guys. That's what we're talking about, bro. Good no job. broke your shots. You see, Avery. Notice how the guys that make money don't complain about the Castle Club. It's the important by the way if you're a brokey in the chat i'll call you a brokey just because you don't want to support that's understandable what i will say though is like when you see the value in the castle club you're like damn you know what yeah i need to be a part of that he called them brokies brokey <laughs> calling someone a brokey when you you just ask them to please pay for my staff calling your fans wild. brokey is crazy calling a, fan a brokey because they don't want to pay you to, for you to pay your fan because you can't pay your fans yourself. I is crazy. I distinctly remember these guys and so many other red pill dudes ripping Pokemon apart because she said that about her fans about her cookies. You remember that? Yes, yes, yes. While fresh and fit, just pearly things and every other loser in the red pill space are taking L's. Again! We want you guys to get some W's with today's sponsor, Surfshark. Couple of reasons. Summer is coming. Yeah, and a lot of you like to go on vacation in the summer. That's just logical. But did you know that according to the place that you are on the world, mm -hmm, the price of your ticket is going to vary. So if you want to be able to enjoy a rebate or a lesser amount on your fare, you change a location with a VPN changer and you're going to be able to have the best prices for your flight. Second thing is, you know the streaming platform that you use, depending on your region, they gatekeep the programs. So one program is going to be available in one region and it's probably not going to be available in your region. And you want to have access to that because you are paying the full price. So you use a VPN changer to have access to all your programs. Surfshark for you. Yep. It goes like that. The wonderful thing about Surfshark is that it's unlimited devices. So no matter how many devices you connect on it, there's no limit. You can connect one and another one and your mom and your sister and your father and all of them devices on the same VPN. And it's not gonna charge you one thing, one penny more. So if you click on the link below and enter coupon ABBA and PREACH, 30 day money back warranty. Get it. It's, it's not about the money, man. Yeah. It, it really isn't about the money, man. I could walk away from all this and be okay today. I don't think they see it. Hey, I don't look. think there's a lot of things they see. I don't think they see the fact of why they got demonetized. The thing is really because they were saying the truth and not the wild shit that you did and all the try that you try to do. Like your name kept coming up in a negative way Bro. in the eyes of YouTube. You don't. They don't even see that. They see it's really no nah, man. It's freedom of speech. You see that. So I don't even. Think I they, I don't think they even see that they're doing the same thing. But whatever. Freedom of speech. But isn't these guys who did the copyright strikes? Yes. I fi falsely just hundreds. Yes. Trying to get a bunch of channels deleted because yes. they didn't like what the channels were saying. Funny, you guys, you, get, you go to these guys' chats and you're critical of them. They just censor you. You can't even be critical of them in their chat. I've been advised by a bunch of people. Let's move out. That should start banning you, hater. So we should just start banning y'all, honestly. Because you guys are paid to come in and purposely hate and f what we got going on. To Because Abba and Preach paid you or Ethan and Decline paid y'all to come in and talk shit, and you guys are doing that, and at that point, it's not even free speech. I'm just coming in to talk shit. Hater oh, don't deserve free speech. So it's so funny to me that the people who yap on and yap about freedom of speech and blah, 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 you peer behind the curtain, and they are just as authoritative as other groups. They will shut you down if they don't like what you're saying. It, it costs a lot to run to run things the way that we do. Um, it's, on the low end, it's, it's... It's costly. So you wanna know what their low end is? What? 
Yes. 70K a month is what they pay. Sev- a month? Well, considering how many people they have employed under them, it makes sense. It makes sense. You know how much these guys were making a month back at the height of... Go ahead. 225 a month? Yep. Yeah. They were raking in huge profits. You know what I mean? They're making close to six figures each every single month. So they're probably making a lot of money, right? Good. Demonetization happens. Everything disappears. They're not making no... They're making pennies on Rumble. They went from being in the green by a lot to now they're in the red every single month by, you know, a pretty large margin. And now they're feeling the pressure. So all the people at home who say, oh, demonetization doesn't work. It's, yeah. That's not been my experience. I haven't spoken to people who have been demonetized. It's either A, we just stop doing the podcast all fucking together, or we uh, put stuff behind a paywall and we can continue things as, as we were doing. Losing close to like, I would say 75, sometimes to 60% of their total income. And even when they go behind a paywall, yeah, they might transfer a, a substantial amount of their fan base depending on the fans. But the other thing is, they're no longer being recommended by any of the algorithms. So they no longer go viral on YouTube. They no longer are in the talking space for a lot. That's why you see this guy doing all these collabs. He's feeling the effects of the poor decisions he's made. So now he's trying to recoup it any way he can. So I'm not saying demonetization is a good or a bad thing. That's not the point. I'm just speaking strictly to the people who think it doesn't work. You're wrong. It does work. Okay, and no matter how much these people say they're in it for the message, the truth is they're here for the money. Without the money, they're not gonna stick around. You know, everyone who sits there and says, oh, you know, freedom of speech, we're tired of censorship, etc." Hey, man, this is how we fight back against censorship. This is how we fight back against big tech. This is how we fight back against all these guys that want to censor us and demonetize us and deplatform us and cancel us for having a different viewpoint. It's not censorship. If someone says, I don't want to pay you. They didn't even delete these guys' channel. They said, based off how you're acting, we don't want to run ads on you because it looks poor on the products that we sell. And we don't want us to give you So money. why should I pay you when it's going to hurt my business? Yeah. So they said, you want to keep your content on here, you can keep it on here, but we're no longer prioritize you because you hurt our business. And then people are talking about free speech, free speech. What business has a duty to give you money when you hurt their business? YouTube does not make most of its money from commentary. It does not make most of its money from dating content. That's not where it makes its money. It makes its money from makeup, tech and kids stuff so all the people doing kids reviews toys reviews whatever the fuck kids kids reviews reviews sounds crazy (laughs) hey hey listen hey Hey, yo hey yo kids review is wild no diddy have you tried this little four year yo illuminati confirmed (laughs) damn they caught me slipping god damn is my lizard skin showing (laughs) all right listen Elizabeth. Um, uh, the queen. Yes. Fellow Elizabeth. Um, you know she's not dead. She's shedding she, skin. She, she shed her skin. A she's shedding skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Lizzie, bro. <laughs> she doing her thing. I mean, she doing her I mean, thing. <laughs> one day I want to just go up to one of the princes and be like, yo. You know about your grandma? They're like, no. Nah. I'm like, Pff. the block is hot. Your grandma's not. <laughs> I see what you did there. Because she's a reptilian yeah, and she got cold yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Appreciate it. Bars. Anyways, back to the topic. Um, <laughs> your block is hot. Your, gra- your, your grandma's not. not. Double entendre. <laughs> Don't worry. I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bars. Don't worry. As soon as Kendrick dropped that last diss, I'm like, I got you. Let me carry the torch. <laughs> that's it, bro. You gotta let him know that we don't just be repped by Drake. That's, Canada, that's Canada the, got some new blood in town. That's the only bar that I've been let you spit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, some other ones. Because you said that and you quit. If you're watching this, I want you to understand your value and what you bring to whatever you're contributing to. That will make you understand how much leverage you have in any kind of negotiations or discussions in place. Creators who do a lot of makeup or tech stuff are gonna have way more leeway with YouTube rather than controversial creators who are a brand risk and generally push away advertisers. People wanna flock to YouTube and make a career here because of so much advertiser money, but at the same time, they wanna make content that pushes that kind of advertiser away. You gotta understand the business strategy. That's it. If you want to have certain kinds of discussions, you want to, you may not be able to do it on YouTube because you have to understand the business platform. I don't really think it's it's so much that much free speech. Just 
some things that they they said <laughs> that we've said as well. We just don't articulate it the same way, and we have nuance to what we say, and we back it up. We just belligerently just say dumb stuff. We don't go to the extreme of things that like at the point like you don't you don't back it up. Which what are you looking at? That? Wait, but the stuff you know why they got demonetized, right? Well, they got demonetized for all the high the end, monkey stuff, the monkey stuff, and stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. They went to the extreme of some shit that like you didn't have to go there. We warned we, we didn't warn you. Abba warned you. I was not believe. I was like, they're not gonna do nothing. So I'm not gonna be. I'm not. I'm not gonna stand here and say we. It wasn't we. It was him. So th- that stuff was just plain. Old. Like, come on now, B. You you know what you did, bro. Didn't I tell you this was the end of Fresh and Fit? Oh. Didn't I call it, bro? Yo, the minute I, I, I t- man, 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 I'm telling you, the minute they got demonetized, I said, "Hey, you know what? My bad. Sorry, I doubted you. You was right. Yeah, bitch, you guessed it. You want to hear the biggest irony of this? What they claim that the meat and potatoes of what they do is like their financial advice, their fitness it's stuff. It's not. It's Why not. do you think they have to pay seventy k minimum a month it's to not. do this? Yeah, bring to home. bring all the girls. To get the security, to set up the 1,000 mics, to do all the crazy stuff that they got to do. If they were just bringing in the dudes to talk about um, dating, fitness, uh, tech, finances, crypto scams, which they love, okay? If they were just doing that, do you think the podcast costs 70K a month? No, it would. Absolutely not. It would cost one third of that. They don't want to downsize and they don't want to change their business practices because they know what their money maker is. The reason they're putting the the, 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 the 10 whores in a, in a mic. Uh, thing behind a paywall is because they know that's what makes money. They're not putting the other shit behind a paywall because no one will pay for that. People are only watching to yell, yell, see you yell at, at women. That's fine, but you got to lay in your fucking bed and sleep there. Yeah, 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 Myron made the bed. Now he wants his fans to lie in it with him. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. One of his favorite pastimes, according to him, in his college days. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. It's not sus, guys. It's just boys being boys. Bro, those were my teammates. It's not gay. It's just like, it's just what it is. You just horse around. It's boys being boys, right? You know, guys being guys. Camaraderie, you know what I say? When y'all struggle together because someone else made a stupid decision and cost themselves millions, you get closer by being in the same bed. Yeah. Boys be your boys. Huh? You want to pull a little prank, you know what I'm saying? Eat somebody's ass. Hey, gay. This is making sure you're not constipated. You can't let the homie just die from keeping all that gas inside. You know, if, if anything, it's sad because look at it this way. A bunch of people about to lose their salaries and lose their livelihood. Okay. Because one person couldn't control their temper. And, you know, to some degree, these people are also complicit in this because when he was doing his dumb shit, they were egging him on. So, you know what? Actually, it's not safe. Everybody can hold an L. He can hold an L for being a bad leader. And you guys can hold an L for not being the good kind of friends who tell somebody they're going too far when they're going too far and they're going to hurt the business. But weren't they supposed to laugh us? I'm pretty I mean, sure I distinctly remember somebody saying, we're better than you niggas. We are better than you niggas. Period. Weren't they supposed to lap us? Wow. But they quit it, right? But they did. No, no, they did lap us. In terms of L's? True. True. Lapped. Lapped. Gapped. Gapped. Facts. We're stationary. Grand King. <laughs> Breath. Easy peasy lemon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were supposed to camp us. They were supposed Yeah, they were supposed to. They were, they were, they are, they're better than us. Yes. They, they, they get more money than us. Yes. We were behind them. According to them, we were making videos about them because they were hot. They were the hot topic. We're trending, man. Yeah, we're popping right now. But then I did, as always, men lie, women lie, numbers don't, right? And then I thought to myself, why would they bring this up now? Uh, Chris, can you show exhibit A real fast? Uh, oh, so let's see here. Uh, they got, let's see. These guys have almost a million more subs than us, guys. All right? So we're the blue line. We're the blue line. They're the red. They have 1.38, which is 1,380,000 1, subscribers. Guys, we only have 430,000 subscribers. Yep. Okay? We have literally like one th- less than one third of their joint, right? And we got 20 million views, and they got 14.9 million views. Ouch. Hmm. Very interesting for you guys to go ahead and make a video insulting us months after the fact. I wonder why. Oh, it's because we're hotter than you guys right now. But now they like pretty much done the water. They're about to quit. We're still making videos. Why are we doing videos about news about to be irrelevant? Because we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I need some liquor. I'm about to do a two-step on somebody's grave. <laughs> a two-step on somebody's grave. Hey, bro. <laughs> Pour <listen>. liquor. <laughs> now, I had so many people like, yo, Abba, man, I want you guys to reconcile with Fresh Fit. Y'all don't know me, okay? If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. 
And that ought to change. And you can mark my words. And I hope everyone unsubscribes if I ever change my mind. Okay? All right. Also, guys, check out our second channel, Apple Preach on the Floor, where we get twice as many views as Fresh and Fit on our second wow. channel. We killing it over there. That's I mean, disrespectful. I, videos are getting 500k. They did the second channel's doing well. It's good. It's doing good. It's doing good. It's doing good. So if you want to see more of the cut stuff, more leisure stuff, more fun stuff, go over there. More also, stream. That's why I stream. So go, go watch it. I stream there. Also. One more thing to know, we got a Discord and a Reddit. Go check those out. We get a lot of our topics there. I play video games and D&D in there every now and then. Preach be popping in once in a blue moon, so go check it out. Boom! And none of it's behind the paywall. Oh, wow. Well, technically, <laughs> a page. Again!